that's right. how majority of us have been raised to thinking, right? Especially yeah. me as a Kenyan woman, um, raised in Kenya. Mm. A lot of times the woman does take the back seat and lets the man do all those things. And right. that's really how it has been for a long time. And in my own personal opinion, it's it's the survival for the uh, for the it's um, the, a survival tactic, right? Where okay, you're a able, survival tactic. Okay, you know what I mean. So uh -huh. the woman, the man goes out and hunts. The woman um, takes care of the family, right? And and makes the food, right? Thanks for locking in. Today, my training partner on Gym Life is gonna be Koi, actress, entrepreneur from Kenya, Africa. What I have to commend Koi on is she does a great job of moving her body and not relegating her exercise just to the gym. Whether it's going on hikes, going on walks with the kids, swimming, boxing, she tries to do a little bit of everything. Today, we're gonna to be talking about gender roles while we do some band work. Let's vibe out. Jima! Oh, what's up? <laughs> How are you? Good, good. How you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need you to elaborate a little bit more than that because <laughs> I know you be on your grind, yes. hustling, but at the same time, you always try to make sure you get some time for yourself. So what yes. kind of week we having? Are we on a hustle week or are we on a chill week? We are on a chill week this week because okay. last week... Hustling. Hustling. You know, I had pop-ups for my business, my jewelry business. Okay. And I was shooting. And on top of that, I had my kids. So everything. Everything. How'd the pop-up go? The pop-up was great. Yeah? It was amazing. Tell me a little bit what the pop-up is like with the jewelry and everything like yeah, that. Yeah. So what I like to do is, especially now since the spring is here and summer's uh. approaching, like I like to go to different um, cities to okay. do pop-ups at their markets, uh. right? To showcase brand awareness for my jewelry business, you know, because I'm predominantly online, but getting out there allows people to see the brand, trust it, yes. you know, trust, feel yes. the products. And then I put that stuff online and everybody online is like, oh, wow, okay. We see what's going on here. Yeah, I see you, know you know? out there really making sure you grind and connect with people so yes. they put everything together. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. So uh, like, so when it comes to taking time to relax, I remember one time that I saw you, it was like for a brief minute, yeah. you connected with Sophia, then you were off to get your facial. Yes. Right? Like, yes. So I need to hear, like, so when it comes to your wellness, do you have like some go-tos as far as that you like doing? Yes, I do. You know, I love, first of all, I love meditating in the morning, right? So I have okay. my morning ritual. Mm. I structure my day in three phases. Okay. Right? There's phase one where I wake up 530. To, uh, phase one was 530 till like about 10. Okay. So I do my morning ritual. I go work out. I do my gym. Uh -huh. um, I go to the stairs. Okay. And then after phase one, then there's phase two where I start my work day, you know, uh -huh. my, my work. And that goes till about 4 p.m. Okay. And then I have my phase my last phase, which is coming home, cooking for the babies, uh, and then, you know, going to bed and starting all over again. Right, right. But so you have your, your day regimented out so you make sure you're productive in each aspect of your life. Yes. I, oh, I love that. Yeah, I it's love amazing. That. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Well, today, what we're going to do is get a workout in. Now, okay. you know when you come see me, we're going to get it in. Oh, right? yes, we are. Yo, right. listen, I've been trying right. to get ready for this. Yeah. I've been going to the stairs. I've been going hiking. <laughs> I've gone to multiple ones just so I can, just I can ready. be ready for this. Like, what you doing? Like, no, I got a yeah. podcast oh, yeah, to do a workout. You're going to get it. Yeah, you know, I had did three miles. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I feel like I got a little something, something, you know? Nice. Well, I got a gift for you before we're going to work out with today. Okay. We got some bands. We're going to do some band work today. Okay, all right? let's do some band so work. So you're going to have this one. You can put that off to the side for now because we're going to go okay. through our warm-up, okay. right? Okay, all right. And we're going to get some body weight mixed in with some band work. I'm going to set the timer up. Okay. When I come back, we can go into the warm-up. For sure. All right? I'm going to get ready. All right, so I'm gonna face this way, right? Yeah, so we um we'll be this way. Okay. Now you face forward. Oh, for face this, forward this for year. now. It's just the warm up. Okay, the warm up. Okay. And then a duck. We're gonna go side okay. to side. Warm up. Yeah. So okay. So phases of your day. So I'm what I'm assuming is because you have so much going on, yes. right? Being a mom, startup business. On top of that, you have what else going on? I have modeling. I have acting. Everything. Yeah, everything. Right. Yeah. So in order to make sure that you're productive in each phase of your life, you want to make sure you're touching on each part throughout yes. the day. Yes. Okay. A hundred percent. You have to. You know, you have to be balanced because I found when I, especially if one of my phases is off, it uh -huh. really throws off my whole day. Uh, you know? Yeah. And, and a lot of times, too, that is a sign for me to really 
uh, factor in rest. Ah. You know, so when I get too convoluted and get uh, too many things going on, uh-huh. it's time for me to really slow it down and pace it down and rest. Right. So I use them as signs. Okay, that's, that's really good because yeah. if not, one, one phase of your life could start to suffer yes. because you're not paying attention because to it. Because I'm not paying attention to it. It's huge. Yes. All right, next we're going to go squat hamstring stretch for a minute. Okay. So we'll squat and then we'll reach straight down. Okay. So I got a question for you, uh-huh. okay? Yeah. And I guess the bands are kind of like an indicator of what we're going to get into today. Well, that's, it definitely <laughs> got, looks <I> got, like <laughs> it. <laughs> how so, you know I didn't want that one, Jima? I, I, I know you didn't want the blue band. Listen, <laughs> because women can't wear blue bands. What? Y'all got to wear, wear pink bands. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay, you know let's saying? get into it. But, so, okay, so hypothetical question, okay? okay? You meet a guy. Uh-huh. You decide you guys are going to go out. Yeah. You tell your homegirls, right? Yes. I'm going to go out with this guy. We're going to have a good time. Everything involved in giving them all the information. You talk to him. He says, hey, listen, I don't really have a car. Can you come pick me up? Okay? You're Uh-oh. like, cool. You go pick him up. After okay. you pick him up, he's like, hey, things are tough right now. Can you take, <laughs> can you take care of dinner? <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> then after that, you give him a ride home. And then we're going to go all fours. Now you face to the side. So, yeah. And we're just going to go child's pose up in the plank. So okay. we drive back. Okay. And come up into plank. And it will go here for one minute. Okay. So after that, you drop him off. And the vibe was like, okay. Let's say the vibe was okay. Yeah. When you get home and you call your friends and you talk about that date, is the fact that you had to pick him up and the fact that he asked you to pay for dinner, will that be an issue? Will that be a knock? Will that be a negative? Ooh. You know, it definitely raises the hairs on my skin, right? Okay. It's, it's um, typically, especially in, in, in the age I'm in right now, uh-huh. I definitely want somebody that would want somebody that is, um, you know, secure. Secure. Able to do their stable. thing. Stable. Stable. Okay. Yes. You know, but what I would really be curious to know uh-huh. is where his mind is at with all of that. I want to know the backstory. Uh, How did we get to this point? Okay. Right? Okay. Because that, that is very important, right? Because uh-huh. sometimes okay. people get uh-huh. on hard times, right. but they're not really... They're not really that guy that, that, that has to get picked up and everything like that or okay. you know, get paid for. So I'd want to know the backstory. Right. You want to know that this isn't a norm. Yeah, if this isn't a norm. So you know? <laughs> because if it was a norm, then... <laughs> if this was, is a norm, <laughs> then there oh would Lord, be an help issue. Me. Help me, please. <laughs> what am I doing over here? You so, know what I mean? Is it safe to say that when you're with your friends and you're talking, yeah. there's a certain level of expectations that are gender specific? Uh... It's a safe yeah, zone. You can speak natural. openly. <laughs> naturally, you know? Right. Naturally, yes. You okay. know what I'm saying? Naturally, it does matter. Okay. But, you know, uh, as a mature woman, like I said before, it's just really knowing the person all around. Like, what uh. really is, you know, who are you? And what, what are your morals? What are your values? All those things. That's, for me, that's the most important. That's more important. Yeah. Knowing the morals, yeah, values, values where they stand, and everything, beliefs. because then uh-huh. that really gives me a good idea. Because to be honest, like we we do get on, you know, like there's certain things that ha- that can happen in life, certain phases where you meet someone, mm-hmm. and that's just that phase that they're in. That right. doesn't necessarily mean that that's who they are. Very true. You know. Very true. I think with some of the conversations we've had in the past, we've always talked about that intertwine of masculine and feminine energy. Yes. Right. So it's almost like not saying that you're gonna have everything be gender specific, maybe some things, right? Yes. Um, but for the most part, you're looking for that balance as far as him being able to explore his masculine and feminine energy. Yes, him being able to know that, him being able to understand uh-huh. himself spiritually, uh-huh. because then that's when you really, now we, get, we really start talking, right? Yeah. When he's tapped in um, to himself, his masculine energy, uh-huh. or even just spiritually, he understands that both masculine and feminine have to be balanced together uh-huh. in order for you to really prosper in a relationship with somebody. Exercise. Right. Bands you know? on next. What would yeah. feminine energy look like? So for any guys that, let's say if I got to explain this to my boys, I'm telling them like, no, you ain't got to be soft. That's not what feminine energy means, right? right? How would you explain <laughs> a man being able to explore his feminine energy? So when you think feminine energy instantly, what do you think about? Then we'll Nurture. kick back. We'll kick back. Uh-huh. Right. What do you think about when you think of feminine energy, right? It's nurturing, right? Nurturing, yes. Warm, compassion, soft, uh-huh. sweet, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. Right? Okay. Um, feminine energy to me is all those things together. 
as well as what? Uh -huh. um, all those together, but the masculine energy also serves a purpose, right? Because when, uh -huh. when you think of masculine energy, what do you think? You think of strong, strength, strong, yeah. strength, assertive, you know, assertive, right. logical, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Okay. But if it's too hyperactive, then uh -huh. you get somebody that is too, too much. It's just, there's no balance. Right. There's no softness. There's no, okay, understanding. Right. It's there's just, no, it's just all locked into that it, one particular exactly. phase. Exactly. Yeah. So the feminine energy comes in how? It comes in from when you're doing your thing and you're strong and everything, but you also can take the time to step back and understand some things. Okay, maybe um, let me go ahead and try it this way. Or right. maybe let's look at things this way. You know what I mean? There's that softness that comes in yeah. that gives you that, that's that feminine, you know, like that taking the time. Even yeah. taking the time to rest. Yes. Men gotta rest too. Very true. Very true. That is true. a very feminine nature. With we'll side steps to squat. Right? And I think, and I guess historically speaking or traditionally speaking, I know even by myself, I grew up in a very traditional household yes. with my father, like where complaining or saying you're tired is not really an oh, option, yeah. right? You got yes. to man up. Yes. Now, I think what's happened is we have reached a phase where there's an aspect of society we'll call that toxic, yes. right? Yes. And then, good, the man will come off and then we're going to lunge twist. Okay. Um, where some people call that toxic, but I do think an element of that is necessary, right? Yes. That ability to, we'll lunge back and then twist towards the front okay, leg. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there you go. We'll get 10. 10? Yeah. And alternate left side, right side. Okay. Yep. Got it. Perfect. There you go. Looks good. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I st always think that within these conversations, there has to be balance and context. Yes. So, when we talk about gender roles as far as like men doing things that are spe traditionally specific to them as far as let's say not exploring your feelings to the degree that your woman may want you to mm. right um and i think in some regards it's necessary yes. right so i remember telling a friend one time that i'm very good at putting my issues in perspective yeah. sucking it up and understanding this, this is just what comes with life right, right? yeah and at home, if I'm with somebody, and good, we'll go down to a plank. Okay. And you can tell me what you think about this. Okay. And we'll go knee to elbow, we'll go for 10. If I'm with somebody, I would not mind if my woman is in a place where she's sad or upset and wants to express herself. But I don't think that I should be in that space at the same time as you. We both can't be crying on each other's shoulders. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. So. I think that that's where, and good, up to our feet, then we'll go squats. Okay. So I think where that's where the exploration has to come in, where we could define it as that, but we don't have to be slaves to it. No, you don't have to be slaves to it. Right. That's why it's so important to know thyself first. Right. To, to do that self-exploration, right? Huh? You know, that self-evaluation and introspection, because when you start to get to know yourself, then you uh -huh. tap into your natural nature of who you are. Right. Whether you're the feminine energy, masculine energy, dominant, uh. whatever it is, you get uh. to know that. Yeah. Because then now, when you and that person both have that, uh -huh. then you come together and it weaves really well. Because yeah. it, it's energy as well. Yeah. You know, everything is energy. So you weave really well when you're both centered in yourselves. Right. Not when one person is coming depleted and needing to latch on to you yeah. to try to gain something. So let's say she's, she's crying, she's having her moment. Uh -huh. And if she's not centered in herself to know that this is a natural process that's taking place here, uh -huh. I can fully be control of this moment. Uh -huh. If she's not in herself, then what will she do? She'll need you to yeah. do something about it. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's going to throw you all the way off. Yeah. Right? Uh, Whether, however you respond to it, however you react to it, it's just going to throw you off because now she's coming to you instead of really going within to get that, to get whatever, whatever nourishment and need that she needs to be met within herself. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. So it's almost like what you're saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's like having that template, right? Yes. As far as like what masculine and feminine, feminine energy is, as far as these gender specific roles, but knowing yourself Rest. is more importantly and understanding that within those roles, no matter how they're defined, you could go into those different avenues at different times. Yes. And not expecting who you're with, whether it be friend, family, or relationship, to feel like they have to, therefore, like, assert themselves to define the places where you are, yes. right? Yes. So it's like, okay, I know where I am, and I don't need you to help me get there. I'm going to just help you understand where I am. Yes, and then okay. also that gives the other person an opportunity to be there for you in however you need them to be. Right. Because if now you're needing them to do something, that's you're controlling them. Yeah. You're controlling what they need to do. Yeah. And if they don't get that need met, 
Uh, then it's their fault. Yeah. Right? As opposed yeah. to, all right, well, I, I can handle this. Yeah, it's hard. Whatever it is, I'm going to figure it out. But what, once, once they know that and you understand that, then you're able to serve them in however it is that they're... They're, um, they're looking for. They're looking for, Because yeah. it's not really about the action. It's not. It's about whatever else is going on it's underneath exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, it's funny because I've definitely been... In situations where I've been around friends, family, and because a woman is outspoken, because a woman is strong, because she voices herself, they'll say that's masculine. Mm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. hey, yeah. Hey, I, saw, yeah. I saw your face, right? That's true. And, 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 and I mean, we've had this discussion as yes. before. It's like sometimes you hear guys say, listen, I don't want you to be the man. I don't want you to be masculine. I want you to be more submissive. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then we'll put the band back on. Okay. And those Exercise. situations where you may hear a guy say, I want a woman to be more submissive because that's being feminine. That's being and, feminine. Yeah. Mm. And <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. I see your face, Sam. I see. I know you see it. <laughs> see? I'm ready. I'm waiting to respond now. Go ahead and finish. So, right. So now when you hear, when you hear these um, narratives, right, where it's like when a woman is outspoken, when she is like hustling on her job, tells you what she wants and is vocal about these things, when they define that as masculine energy and not having too much of that same energy in the same space, what do you think about that? Oh, man. Immediately, <laughs> what I think about uh-huh. is this person has been conditioned by whether it's their family dynamic, their cultural dynamic, society, uh-huh. to think that this is what it is. Uh-huh. So, and that's where they bases, that their base foundation uh, really stems from okay. uh, about this particular situation, right? And that's okay because that's right. how majority of us have been raised to thinking, right? Especially yeah. me as a Kenyan woman um, raised in Kenya. Mm. A lot of times the woman does take the back seat and lets the man do all those things. And right. that's really how it has been for a long time. And in my own personal opinion, it's, it's the survival for the, uh, for the, it's um, the, a survival tactic, right? Where okay. you're a able, survival tactic, okay. You know what I mean? So uh-huh. the woman, the man goes out and hunts, the woman um, takes care of the family right. and, and makes the food, right? Yeah. So that's been what has been ingrained in us for a very long time. Uh-huh. But now in this day and age, things have changed. Things have changed, why? Because now we see women uh, doing a lot of things men can do. Right. And we also see men doing a lot things of things women, women can do. Can do. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's a lot of single dads out there. There's a lot of dads that are, that are doing the, the woman thing too. Right. You know what I mean? But where we, we have to really um, be careful when, we, <clears throat> when we're uh, setting that foundation of, okay, this is what I need and, and that in a woman. I think where it gets messed up is when people don't, uh, don't understand that in order to have that natural innate nature come out of a woman, huh. she has to be fully tapped into herself. She right. can't just be a shell of herself going, going with these set of labels that have been placed upon her. Uh, because then she's just, she's almost like a robot. She's just applying those rules. And, that's and, which, it. And, which, and as a guy, would you want that? And, right. 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 You wouldn't right. want that because yeah. to a certain degree, there's more than that that needs to happen. Yes. Right? Yeah. But when she's tapped in and understanding who she is, then guess what? Her natural nature just starts to flourish. Yeah. Without even her needing to try to, oh, I got to do this as a woman. I got to, no, you're a woman already. Yeah. Just be one. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? twist. You know what I like is that you made it very constructive. Yeah. Where it's, so if you hear something along oh, the lines shoot. of, I want, or I think a woman should be more submissive. It's like, okay, first thing you want to know is what does that look like? Yes. Right? And... If that's the case, could we explore where that came from? Yes. If this is something that you have been taught or has been conditioned to you, yes. then we need to explore that and kind of maybe, maybe redefine it. And right? redefine it. Yes. Yeah. And then down to the climbers. To the, um, yes. That's very important. You have to. Because, because the reason why men think that that's what's supposed to be is because a lot of... Um, uh, man, in this, especially in this day and age, right? Everybody wants to feel like someone, everyone wants to feel worthy of doing something. Uh-huh. So they're going to do that and break free from that, those, those norms that they've placed on us, uh-huh. but they're not doing it well. Right. They're doing it in a toxic manner, like to try to prove a point. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm independent. I'm yeah. an independent woman. I'll do this. I'll do that. <laughs> like I'm trying to show you that I can do all of this. Right, right. It's not coming from fertile soil. Yeah. It's not coming from sacred soil. It's not coming from a good foundation. Yeah. The foundation has to really be what? Understanding thyself and the nature just kind of really c- coming from you. Coming from, yeah. And blossoming from you. Yeah. You know what I mean? squats, 10. Um, 
uh, not fully. And I think that's the major thing when we're talking almost the understanding that one, we have to understand where these perceptions are coming from. Yes. Um, secondly, we have to understand that we are not slaves to those perceptions. No. And thirdly, that exploration of yourself allows you to say why you yes. have these certain expectations, yes. right? Yes. So now, if I'm a guy and I say, and good, if I'm a guy and I say, listen, I would like a woman that does X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z because it helps to complement when I do this, this, that, and this. Yes. Now, it could be the same exact behavior, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But now that you heard it in a context that's more specific to them yes. and a little bit more of a constructive mindset, yes. then you're much more yeah. liable to like listen and ride out with it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's very important. It's huge. Open-mindedness uh -huh. is key when yeah. it comes to that, yes. right? Because it's so important. Like, if... If I'm in the search, right, for someone, uh -huh. I would really be looking for how open are they to breaking, to, to even exploring their own beliefs on yeah. things, on their yeah. own beliefs on how things are supposed to be. Because yeah. if they're open, then that means that you're able to come together and come to a good conclusion of what you both would prefer. But yeah. if a man's already set on all, or if a woman's already set on this, how he needs to be doing this, he needs to have me to do that's not, that's toxic already. Right, right. With both people coming with their preconceived notions and expect the other person to completely capitulate. Exactly. Right? Like, no, this is what I say. This is the way it is. Yes. You fall. You right. know what I like about these conversations mm -hmm. is that we have the ability to navigate them without it being overly personalized. Yes. Right? Yes. And I think that's, that's the part of any time we're talking about gender-specific roles. It's if I, there's a healthy way to do it. There's a right? healthy way to do and it. And sometimes people say, well, what's healthy? What I think healthy is when your blood pressure isn't rising. You're yes. not having high levels of anxiety. Right. You know what I mean? All these things stressed out. Yes. You know, all these things that could happen from an unhealthy conflict versus if I say, shoot, you know, this is my perception of women right. and what I think a woman should do. Yes. Um, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Right. Yes. Right. That's why it's so important to do your work. What do I mean by doing your work? It's doing your self-assessment, understanding yourself, your, your, your projections, your triggers. Uh -huh. Right? Because if you don't understand those and how to navigate those, then guess what? Once I come in contact with you and we start talking about stuff, then boom. Exercise. If it triggers me, that's it. We're done. <laughs> Hulk. <laughs> Hulk smash. <laughs> this is everywhere. everywhere. This is everywhere. That's so true. Yeah. It's so true. It's 100% true. And, I, in, and we always have so many conversations about balancing work, um, taking care of yourself as far as like rest, working out, things like that. And one thing I think we tap into almost Im implicitly is always the importance of staying in a good mental space through healthy conflict. Yes. Which is huge, which right? Is huge. So yes. there's been times we all have disagreed when we've been, been here at the gym. It's like, well, you know, I say things this way, I see things this way, but never at any time does it become contentious. Yes. Right? Yes. Which is huge. Which is huge. Yes. And That's very true. Um, being able to have a health, and that's and going back to, to you know the beginning of this uh, conversation uh -huh. with um, having a healthy uh, regimen and how you go about your life and your and your days is so key. So Bec key. Because so key. That really Switch. is is literally the foundation of everything around you, whether yeah. it's your workspace, your relationships, your you know all those things. All those when things. When you're centered, when you know yourself, when you understand yourself then you can navigate those spaces so much better yeah and then you also attract people like that are like that as well that in that mindset very yes. true and i think also too adding in curiosity curiosity versus judgment oh yes right yes. so i think in for me um there's definitely things that <laughs> i see women do that confuses me <laughs> yes. but i don't judge it okay, okay. yes I.e., for example, you know, when you and Sophia see each other, <laughs> hey, girl, you look so good. You look so good. You <laughs> and then you exchange gifts. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, yes. I see these things, and I'm like, if I did this to my boy, he would push me, you know? <laughs> and because that's going kind of, <laughs> to... He would true. push me. Yes. But instead of me saying, and I, I'm going to also add into this. I'm going to digress, but come back. I was listening to this author um, who has a podcast, and then we'll step back. And she was talking about male interaction amongst males, which is what I had an issue with, mm. on the back twist. I could understand, in this specific context, a woman saying, you know, I disagree with this behavior, 
within males in relation to how they treat women. Um. But when you're looking at how men act within each other mm -hmm. in a fun, playful way, and she was saying that she walked into a bar and the guys were insulting each other, right? Mm -hmm. But they were laughing. Yeah. And she's like, that's toxic amongst each other. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I don't know yeah. if you have the ability to even come to that conclusion right. if that's not your gender. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And that's in... All that's saying is down to so climbers. All that's saying is if you look at it more with curiosity yes. rather than judgment, it'll yes. help you to be able to understand it a little bit more. Yes. And sometimes I think our ego, and when I say ego, not in a negative sense, just the idea that the world revolves around our perception. Yes. A lot, this allows us from learning or understanding things new. Yes. So I say that's that to true. say that when it comes to roles within men or women, um, I tend to, the things that I don't understand, there are some things I do, and a lot of things I do understand, yes. but the things that I don't, yes. I try to look at it and good, more yes. with curiosity. With more curiosity. Right. You have to be able to do that. Yeah. Because, first of all, we're not the same. Every one of us is individual. <laughs> yeah. You know, and how can you come in, look at somebody's life, them laughing, having a good time, and judge that because it doesn't make sense to you. Because it doesn't make sense to you. Yeah. Right. Right. So the curiosity aspect is how you have to live. Yeah. Right? Because you just don't know. Yeah. You yeah. don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? In every aspect. In every aspect. You don't know. And the curiosity aspect allows you to, if you're drawn to wanting to know, you may come into some really, really good awareness about whatever's taking place. Yeah. You know? And yeah. people rob themselves off of so much rich wisdom oh and God. so much, so many learning lessons and learning things right. because of their beliefs and try to closing themselves off. Yeah. Like, yeah. how are you going to... It just... It really... It doesn't make sense to me yeah. when they're closed-minded, you know? Yeah. 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 Do you think there's anything within your life that you like to do to make sure that you're in your feminine nature, right? And I could say, for me, right? Yes. There'll be certain times I'm like, I haven't really, like, had out like a good fight. Yeah. So I'll call my boy, we'll throw on the gloves and then black eyes, blood later, we yes. feel like we've really just, you know, had a good time. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, is there anything that you think that's within that type of nature yes. that you, you tend to explore? Mm, this is so good. Uh. You know, just a little context. Uh. Being Kenyan, raised in Kenya, uh -huh. the mindset was, if you're sitting down doing nothing, you, you, that's not looked at as good. Okay. You're being a cabbage. Yeah. You gotta always be doing something. <laughs> uh -huh. You're sitting down not doing anything, like that is a loser. Right, right. Right? So all my life I've always had this, I gotta be doing something, I gotta, gotta be, be doing something. something. Yeah. I gotta get something done, I gotta do this. These uh -huh. never rest. Do not rest. Yeah. And so in, to invite my feminine nature and my natural self, I've understood how productive rest actually is. Uh, you know what I mean? So yes. that's something that I've really been implementing in my life within the last year and just being conscious. Because I'll have those days where if I fight it, I'm like, oh, my God, what am I doing? I'm being a loser right now. I'm being a cabbage. <laughs> I'm not doing, I'm not supposed to be doing this right now. <laughs> I'm supposed to be working. I'm supposed you to be like, You can like hear good. the fucking voices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, and I can hear the voices. They're so loud. Uh, you know, so um, really allowing myself to rest. Mm -hmm. A woman, when she's, when she's birthing, she has to take that rest. Yeah. She has to rest. Yeah. So I have to allow rest in order for me and, and shift my perspective mm. on what rest means. Uh, it's productive. It's yeah. still as productive as what we're doing right now. Yes. Yes. Just, just as productive. Just as productive. Which is the balance, right? Which allows us to do what we're doing right now. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So that's how I incorporate that. So for me, Exercise. I love to pamper myself, you know, be girly, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like, either go get massage, go get facials, uh -huh. and just even be still. Sit out in nature and just be in still, stillness. Yeah. Quiet. Yeah. Relax, quiet. Yeah. It's so funny how you say things are ingrained, right? I just, I think, recently got into facials. Don't mm -hmm. tell anybody, right? So hey, <laughs> I just recently got into facials, but because mm. of... <laughs> no wonder your skin looks I, so nice. Right? You know, you I've see? been on it. I've been on it. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, you should hear I even booked up. I feel like when I booked the point, yo, I need a facial. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah, it's for me. Okay? Yeah, there's nothing soft. Listen, I just feel like I need to take care of my skin, all right? <laughs> like that, was that ever uncomfortable for you in the beginning to do that? In the beginning, yes. And you want to know why? It's because, just like you said, um, my father is Ghanaian. and he's telling me stories, and I grew up around a very masculine, um, and we'll go kickbacks, um, 
very masculine minded culture, right? Where he yes. said that um, growing up, even the men and the women, they would go off and have a conversation separately. Mm. Like he's like, they're not really sitting down, they're having conversations together, wow. right? Then, in, and also in addition to that, I think growing up with my friends, we grew up in a very, very um, masculine way as far as like fighting, not showing any signs of weakness, not yes. showing any signs of um, softness, right? Yes. So with that, anything that even resembled, even resembled being soft, yes. you weren't even allowed to explore mentally, right? Wow. But I think as I got older, I realized just like when you do more self-exploration, like I know who I am and I don't think me going to get facials makes me any softer. It doesn't you make you any mean? softer. But you tell that to me when I'm 19 or 20. Right. Nah. You're right. Like, what you mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Because we care about how people think so much. Yeah. Right? A lot of yeah. times we care about how people think and we're defined by what pe the perceptions of others. Yeah. But when we start to go internally and realize that, uh -huh. wow, first so of all, everybody doesn't even, half of these people don't even know what they're doing. Right. You know? And why they're even doing it. And yeah. so to let somebody else dictate or society dictate who you're supposed to be, it's, it's not, it's an imbalance. Right. It's not right. It's, there's so much resistance there. Oh, of course. You know what I mean? Because inside, you're, you, you go home to yourself. You're the one who really knows you. Yeah. You know? So um, a lot of times that's why I say that self-exploration is so key. Okay. Because when you learn that you are not defined by other people's perceptions, you can go get that facial and be like, yeah, and what? <laughs> what you going to do? And what? What? I go, yeah, exactly. you got something to say? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah. But it's so much of the society to, uh, uh, this way of um, really trying to control the narrative. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Which is... Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And I think understanding that there's levels to everything, right? Yes. Like you have... You have, like, I guess, 100% feminine nature, 100% masculine nature, and then everything in between. And then everything in between. Right? Yes. And the only way you can fully explore and understand where you fall within that, and it may change, it may shift, yes. where you fall within that is that you explore yourself and then have the ability to communicate that to whoever you're seeing, yes. right? Whether, yes. no matter what relationship that is, just the ability to fully like articulate who you are and where you stand. Yes. You know? That's true. Yeah. That's so important. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Squats. I like that. Okay. That's a good workout, Jima. <laughs> you good know, workout. you see I had to slide these in like yeah, on the low, did. you know? Yeah. yeah. I love these. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. What do you think the biggest difference is from when you were younger, as far as looking at your aunts, uncles, older family members, versus today? The biggest difference within like those roles, right? Like what's the biggest difference? The transition that you see throughout society and then also you see within yourself. Yeah, oh wow, good. So I'm gonna do layers because- Okay, layer it out, layer it layer out. Layer it out, right? Layer <laughs> so I got my aunts and uncles that are still in Africa. Okay. Yeah. And then I got aunts that are here in America that have been here uh -huh. a lo uh, over 20 years. Okay. Right? So the aunts and uncles that are still in Africa, uh -huh. a lot of them still are the same when I was a, ki a kid. Right. Like the way they right. navigate, their morals, their beliefs, how they think. Still the same. Still the same. Uh-huh. The ones here, though, uh -huh. is where I've seen the biggest shift. Ah. There's a lot more openness. Okay. Openness to wanting to understand. Uh -huh. Oh, curiosity. Yes. Oh, what is, okay, so why are you doing this? Mm. What would you like? As opposed to the ones there, like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know? Are there, wait, I have to ask, is there, is there specific things you do that your family you have more traditional mind? Because it seemed like you, some things were in mind there. Is there certain things that you do today that from a traditional mindset from your family who may even be back in Africa now, that they'd be like, Koi, what are you doing? Right. You know, uh, they haven't yet done that, but I know that they would. So it's my... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you it's know. my spiritual beliefs, right? Okay. Where I look at oneness. They're very Catholic. Okay. Um, very church-driven, um, but like anything outside of that is just like, what are you doing? Right. You know, like what, what, what's the spirituality you're talking about? You know, uh, so to them in, in Africa, though, because there's a set of morals that the whole entire country really abides by. Yeah. A lot of times. Right. So 
they are more closed-minded than than if they've been here. Because mm. I feel that America has it's there's so much diversity yeah. that it's very hard to not be open-minded when you're coming from another co country. You have to. Right? You have to. Yeah. It's so much change here. Like, what is this? Yeah. Right? So I feel that um, with them, I think that would be a question like, okay, what is this? What are you talking about? High vibrations, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Good energy. What is this vibration energy? Yeah, you know what I mean? Where is God? Where is God? <laughs> I, uh, you're worshiping your angels now. Which, which angels are these? I'm like, no, but 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 God assigned angels to me yeah. to, to navigate with me. So it's from God. Yeah. You know, it's just those kinds of conversations, and you right? you know they would have an issue with that. Yeah. But the thing <laughs> is, they, you know, as long as you're doing well in life, they mm -hmm. will not question you. Okay. But if you weren't doing good in life... Then there's going to be an there's issue. There's an issue. Then there's what are you issue. doing? Yeah, yeah. But they can't question me now because why? Alko is doing her thing out here. She's yeah. doing her thing. How can we question her? Yeah. Right? Yeah, but yeah. you know in the back of their mind, there's definitely questions. Right? <laughs> but the aunties here are very open. Uh -huh. Very open to understanding. Very open to, wow, change. They're yeah. Very, yeah. And so for me, I, yeah, that's the, that's the biggest take that I've taken from my childhood to now. Yeah. And I really appreciate that, actually. Like, I appreciate coming here to having that open mind because I don't know if I would be the same if I was back home. Uh, is there anything that you think friends, family, speaking to women specifically, and I know I have mine in mind, that you would hope they make an adjustment in a general standpoint in terms of um, almost blindly embodying gender-specific roles? Um, is there any adjustment that, you, that you've made that you would hope that other women would make as well? Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> really? Uh, first of all, like we had talked about, having a curious mind uh, and seeking to understand who you are. Okay. Seeking to understand, why does this bother me? Ah, uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Why does this make me so, happy? Give me, give, me that, give me that again. <laughs> Seeking to understand, why does this actually bother me? I like that. As opposed to blaming everybody else. Uh huh. Why Charles. is it actually triggering me? Uh huh. You know? Yeah. And I think that was the biggest adjustment for me is taking accountability mm -hmm. of my own life, my own self, my own projections, my own hurts, everything uh -huh. that makes me feel weird, and uh -huh. everything that makes me feel happy. Yeah. Explore that. Why is this actually bringing me so much joy? That's huge. Why is it bringing me so much joy? What is inside of me that is causing me to have so much joy with this? Explore that. That's what self-exploration is. Yeah. What is inside of me that is causing me to feel this pain, this hurt? Because right. guess what? When you're, when you're triggered, when you're triggered, it's something inside of you that is triggered. It's not that other person. It's something inside of you. What nerve did they strike? And you know what I can say honestly? is that we've been around each other for a good amount of time. I see you come in and out the gym. We've had numerous conversations. Yes. No matter what has impacted you externally, you always do a very good job of processing it. Yes. So this is the space that you go to to make sure that you're fully functional in other facets of your life yes. or other aspects of your life yes. when it comes down to making sure you're there for your kids, all those other things. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, I really like that. Thank you. Yeah, that's, it's, it's, I found that it's key, and I really... I really urge anyone, like the women, even men, yeah. to go internally. Go internally. Go internally. It makes life so much better when you start to go internally. Because then, when you come across somebody else, because I, I believe that the law of attraction, like attracts like, you come somebody else, and they'll be doing the same thing. And yes. now y'all can go yeah. somewhere. Now you can go somewhere. I've always been curious about the, the, the mindset when I hear men say I want a woman to be submissive, right? Yes. And I think for me, I would take any guy who thinks a woman needs to be submissive, do you want them to lie, right? Mm -hmm. So that means if a woman is doing something that, or if, pardon me, if you say or do something and a woman is outspoken about it being incorrect, would you want them to hold that in and be submissive or be honest, right? right exactly. So if you're saying be submissive to sacrifice honesty, then I disagree with it. Yes. And what I, I would, you yes, know what I mean? Yes. And I tell this, I tell this story all the time. When my daughter was younger, she might have been like five or six. Yes. I was in a barbershop with a bunch of friends and I told her to do something yes. and she asked me why. Yes. And my boy was like, yo, 
she's supposed to say you her, you're, you're her father, so she has to listen to you. And I said, I don't want her to listen to me because I'm her father. Right. I want her to listen to me because I make sense. Right. Which is a big difference. That's a right? big, huge difference. So what yes. I would say to any dude who wants a woman to be submissive, um, and I, in the unhealthy standpoint, I may, it may be a healthy aspect of that, right? Yes. Is if you say something and somebody disagrees with you or challenges you, you might want to step your game up. Yes. Right, and when I mean step your game, I don't mean in the the, the, the combative sense. It the means like sense, right. mean like just do your homework, do yes. your research, do your be research. able to back up what you're saying and doing. You exactly. Know what I mean? Yes, okay. and explore why you're so uncomfortable with it. Right. What right. is it that's causing you to be so uncomfortable yeah, with it? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Not everybody is uncomfortable with it. So yeah. So there's something. Yeah. There. Of course. Rich. Of course. Wisdom there. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. Well, it's always a pleasure. Look like we got a good one in. Yes, you know what I mean? We got a great one in. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah. You know, we're going to be back at it again soon. Yes, we are. Good work. Thank you, Jiva. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Whew.